When Rona Begum was born in 2011 in India, her head size was three times that of a normal child's head, making headlines worldwide. This exceptional child fought bravely to survive, but after five years, something shocking happened. It shattered her family. Watch the video to know the details. But before we begin, if you like the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Let's start. In 2011, workers at a small hospital in a remote area of northeastern India faced a huge medical challenge, as the doctors in the village of Jirankala had never seen a baby born with hydrocephalus before. Little Rona seemed out of this world to the point that they likened her to aliens. How could they even explain to her parents that their little girl's chances of survival were slim, let alone living a normal life? Although they couldn't determine the full extent of her abnormalities, it was already known that the accumulation of excess cerebrospinal fluid around the brain and spinal cord leads to the birth of children with unusually large heads and prominent veins in the scalp. In these cases, the eyes usually deviate downward with symptoms such as vomiting and seizures associated with this serious condition. As the Beta family stood by their daughter, experts measured her head circumference to be 94 centimeters. Although the size of a child's head at birth varies significantly due to different genetic factors, the average healthy infant head circumference is around 34 centimeters. The doctors were very blunt when they informed the parents that it would be best to allow their daughter to pass away peacefully, but Fatima and Abdul Rahman were not ready to give up on letting their daughter die. Ron's parents were poor and could not afford to pay for another medical opinion about their daughter's condition, as Abdul Rahman worked for a daily wage only, while Fatima was a homemaker. Providing food was a challenge in itself, and providing huge amounts of money to cover the expensive hospital treatment costs was impossible for this family. Fortunately, social media proved to be an excellent tool to help those in need, as after 18 months, a photographer found the child with the large head and shared her photos with the world. The size of this child's head made it impossible for her to even sit upright, and if nothing was done, she would remain bedridden with her head on the pillow for the rest of her life. Two Norwegian students, Natalie Franz and John Borch, undertook a mission to raise funds for this special child, and around $62,000 were collected. Rona's case was so unique that her birth and life made headlines in international newspapers. Fortis Hospital in New Delhi quickly offered to take full responsibility for Rona's treatment. Surgeons planned to reduce the circumference of her head from 94 centimeters to no more than 58 centimeters, which was still too large for a child's head. During the operation, doctors drained about 10 liters of excess fluid from the girl's brain cavity. Shortly after the successful first operation, Fatima and Abdul Rahman gave birth to a healthy baby. Rona and her sister Abir had a normal relationship like all other siblings, playing together without getting annoyed with each other. Rona spent a total of 105 days in the hospital and underwent at least eight surgeries in an attempt to reduce the size of her head. The doctors only tried to relieve the pressure on the brain, but Fatima and Abdul Rahman believed that these surgeries would stimulate their daughter's growth. They hoped she would develop the ability to walk, talk, eat without assistance, and even go to school. However, with each surgery, there was a high risk of dying during the operation. The hospital had to keep the parents' expectations realistic. But for a while, after the first two surgeries, Rona was able to laugh, smile, and move her head on her own. She even started to react when someone called her name. For many, this may not seem like much, but for her desperate parents, every small achievement was a beacon of hope. The neurosurgeon who participated in the surgeries was completely surprised by the fighting spirit shown by Rona. He did not expect the extent of improvement she began to show to the point where she started to pronounce some words, something he never expected her to be able to do. 
The doctors were shocked by her determination, as none of them expected Rona to live for a long time. Initially, it was expected that she would only live for a few days, and her parents were advised to let her simply die. Later on, the doctors informed the family that she might be lucky to celebrate her first birthday, but time passed quickly, and Rona achieved an amazing milestone by reaching the age of five. Her family was extremely happy that she was alive and in good health, working on improving her skills every day, even though the steps were very small. At this point, the doctors at Fortis Hospital had already scheduled the next surgery for her head. The family was prepared for the surgery months in advance, just like any other time. Each time they were informed of the possibility of their daughter's death, and they had to sign a waiver acknowledging it legally. But for no specific reason, Rona began to experience breathing problems. This was not unusual, as the family was accustomed to their little daughter's struggle for each day she wanted to live. However, the family did not know that this time would be completely different. While taking care of her daughter as usual, Fatima noticed that Rona was having difficulty breathing, but this time, it was sudden and severe. Fatima called her husband and asked him to come back home, knowing that Rona needed to go to the hospital as soon as possible. When Abdul Rahman arrived home, he rushed to his daughter's side, but when he touched her and shook her, she lay there motionless. On June 18, 2017, Rona lost her desperate battle against a rare condition just weeks before another surgical procedure. Some said her death was for the best as she never lived a normal life. However, her family's hearts were shattered. Her brother felt shocked realizing that his special sister would never play with him again, while Fatima couldn't express her feelings as her only dream was to be a mother. But now, she had lost her daughter. It was extremely difficult for her to piece together her shattered life and move on, but she still had to sacrifice for her family. Were you shocked to learn that Rona would not be able to survive after the battle she bravely fought? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive your videos first. See you in the next video.